Hello there, lovely humans. I am back today with another video uh, that I decided to make approximately 15 seconds ago. So what will it consist of? I'm not really sure, um, but I have had kind of a stressful week at school, but I was able to get everything that I needed to done today. Like today was a big hump. It actually is hump day when I'm filming this. Happy Wednesday. I don't know what day it'll be when this is uploaded. Um, but I, you know, I got done with classes, I ate lunch, I had a nice over hour long chat with my mom, and I've just been able to like chill out. And so I watched um, a few Johanna Klo videos, and it inspired me to pull out this journal that I've been working on. Um, so if you don't know, I do make journals um, in my New Year journal tag a lot of people commented on the journal that I used that was handmade, um, saying that they liked it. So <laughs> thank you to everybody who complimented that. I've actually made two journals that look like that one. Um, and last year around this time, I was like, I'm gonna open up an Etsy shop, which I would still love to do, but I just never got around to it because I didn't really have a means to do that. But the other day, it was actually probably a couple weeks ago now, I didn't really have anything to do and I had saved an Annie's mac and cheese box and I was like, I'm going to see if I can make a journal out of this. Um, and so I did start a journal and this is different than any journal I've ever done because I have always made journals with actual spines on the back. And this one is just going to be like a centerfold. So it kind of, I've never actually used a traveler's notebook. Um, I know it's a very popular thing that everybody uses. Um, and this is, I guess, like similar to a traveler's notebook size. Um, but so right now I just have, this is an unfinished project. So I just kind of have things sitting all together in this um, bag just to keep it together. So I guess I'll show you my progress so far. Um, so first things first, I'm going to use this lace to tie it together, um, like to close it, because obviously it, it's like resting position is wide open. Um, but I actually have a lot of this lace, like in several different colors, and I just wanted to use it because I think lace is so pretty. Um, and this isn't, I don't actually think this particular hue is found on this fabric pattern, um, but this was just like, this was just like a small piece of fabric. I found it and I just thought it was cute. So I wanted to use it. So um, I will show you the cover. It's frankly not the best. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's a little buckled. I used um, another piece of like, kind of like craft board or like cardboard on the inside, but I didn't, like I said, I've never done just like a straight like fold. I've always had a spine. So of course it, it buckled because when you fold it, it's a different length than when it's flat. But yeah, so like I said, I used an Annie's mac and cheese box. So it, it was actually previously bent like here and here and this wasn't bent. So I just bent it down, down the center. And on the inside, I used an old map that I got at a thrift store. I haven't, I've, I actually have several maps that I've like got and I just haven't used any of them. And I was like, couldn't really find any fabric that I wanted to use on the inside. Not even sure that this really goes, but I just thought it was kind of cool. Like all this tiny text um, has all these like roads. I think this is from like a South Carolina map, maybe. I have more pages on the inside, um, but on the front cover, this is actually part I have another piece of it in this little pocket, but it's part of a calendar cover that somebody laminated um, and donated to the thrift store. And um, it had like Chinese like wave art, if you know, it's kind of like a popular pattern as of recent. And my roommate ended up covering up one of her textbooks because like the cover just was kind of freaky. It was like an anthropology textbook with a skull. And so she used the bulk of this like calendar cover, um, which was fine with me. I totally donated like whenever my, my roommates need something, they come to me because I'm a hoarder of all things craft supplies. 
Um, so she left me with a couple pieces that I could use and uh, one of them was the waves. So I cut it and I'm going to glue it in to make it a nice little pocket for the front. I think that's kind of cute and creative and it's like, it, it doesn't all 100% match, but I think it still like works together really nicely. Um, I would like to put this in here somehow. I'm not sure how, like I might do another pocket. Part of me wants to like put it in the signature and I kind of like the idea of like sewing through the lamination cause I feel like that would just make it a lot easier but then I'd have to, you know, cut it a little more and I don't know, it's just so pretty. I'm a little indecisive with how I'm going to <laughs> cut it up. But so that's kind of the extra things and then it's just gonna be one signature because it's, you know, just the single point. Um, and I have, obviously I need to like trim it down. I was more, I was having kind of a difficult time putting together the papers because I've never really made, I've never really made a, a, a journal like this before. Um, at least not, like I've done kind of junk journal-y style ones, but they've been smaller and they've been a little bit more coherent. This is, I guess, not as much of my vibe, like this dark blue, gray tones. Um, but yeah, so I have, you know, some brown paper bags, um, a little pocket here, and then here are some bits of the map. And so the reason I kind of did the map, because I thought the blue kind of like tied in with everything. Um, yeah, I feel like, I see like water, blue, like I feel like that ties in. Um, and then there's like the other side of the map. Um, I did put, you know, of course some lined paper to write. I'm actually not a junk journaler. Like I'll put crap, I'll, I'll put junk in my journal, but I just, I'm not like, I just like writing the most. Um, this is some coffee dyed paper. I really like this because on one side it's scrap paper and on the other side it's lined. Um, I think that's kind of cool. This is literally random paper from like packaging from where I work. Like there'd be a bunch of like paper packaging. And so I would like save the stuff that I really liked and I'd bring it home. Um, more coffee dyed paper. This is actually like a yellow like note, like steno, I think is what they're called, notepad. Um, and you know, another map piece. Um, another coffee paper, just a blank one. Again, like I said, I like writing and so it's kind of hard to write on stuff like this, but I have seen, I have actually seen, there's a, a, a YouTuber called Nat Paper Scissors that makes kind of junk journal-y um, journals. And what she'll do is if she can't write on a piece of paper is she'll like just tape another piece of paper on top. So like like put something like this on top so you can still kind of have that design, but you can also still use it to write. So that's an idea. If you like the idea of junk journaling, but you also like writing. Um, I folded this cause I thought that the, the holes were kind of fun. Um, I haven't coffee stained in a while, but I do, it is, it is fun. It's kind of a hassle, but it's also like, like I said, it's fun to see kind of what what happens with the paper and how it reacts. Um, so I have these little bits, kind of like they're folders. I might tape them or glue them down or just leave them to, you know, if I ever do set up an Etsy shop, <laughs> um, might leave it up to, you know, the customer's choice. Um, but yeah. So that is pretty much what I have going on for this journal so far. I don't know why I said that weirdly. I don't normally speak like so far. Um, but yeah, so my question for you is how would you incorporate this? It's just so pretty, like I don't wanna cut the image, but I, I kinda wanna include it, you know? So like maybe I could like you know, sew it right in there and I don't know. It's just, mm, it's just so pretty. And I want to use it to kind of, because I use this other piece. Um, but yeah, so let me know your thoughts on this. 
in the comments. I would love to know. Like I said, I've never, I've never really made a journal like this before. I do have, um, so yeah, so the New Year journal tag featured two journals that I've made. Um, and then I actually have two other videos that feature journals that I've made. One of them is me Coptic binding, and then another one is just a flip through of the blank journal that I have. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't even know what I'm gonna title it, like maybe like DIY junk journal progress. I don't know, um, but I just had, you know, a little, a little bit of creative uh, fire as Tina from Overall Adventures would say for a minute there. So I made this video. I'm trying to make things look like pleasing to the eye, but it's not really working. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, this is just kind of a random, a random video. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.